In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the powerful course cohorts add-on by Lifter LMS. We're going to be demonstrating how to create a semester-based system on your website using course cohorts. Even if you're not a traditional university, you may want to have groups or cohorts of students moving through a course at different times as you move into the future. I'm going to show you how to create that with Lifter LMS. So let's create a course cohort. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the Business Mastery Spring Semester 2024 and create a cohort of that same course for fall of 2024. So what we want to do is we want to navigate to the back end of WordPress and go to our courses. And in this case, we're going to be creating a cohort from the spring semester 2024. So we're going to click new cohort. And this is the wizard that will take us through the process of setting up a new co course cohort. So I'm going to click create cohort now. I'm going to give it a name. So in this case, I'm going to call it business mastery fall semester 2024. I'm going to click Save and Continue. Then I can create a time period for which this course is able to be enrolled in, like how at a university, the admissions office is open for a certain amount of time to get students enrolling for a future semester. So in this case, we will open enrollment during the summer of 2024. So we'll put it in there as, say, June 1st to. August 1st, we are accepting enrollment into the fall 2024 cohort. So I'll click save and continue. And we can also create start and end dates for this co course cohort, which means that somebody can enroll, but they can't get into the content, they can't get into the course until the official course start date. So like in a traditional school system, that might be the beginning of the fall semester. So let's do September 3rd, and then they lose access to the content. The course is essentially over, call it December 15th after the final exams. Now, when you're creating a cohort, you can also reset the drip settings if you are using drip content so that the next cohort does not or can have fresh rules for when the drip starts and that kind of thing. And you can set that up on the individual course cohort. So I'm clicking save and continue. Next is the, vis the course catalog and search visibility. We can check this box to close enrollment and hide the course I created this cohort from, which essentially means that the previous cohort, we're gonna hide it off the course catalog, hide it from the search, so that only the people enrolled in it have access to it from their student dashboard. But on our website, the fall 2024 new course cohort, that's the one that's available. That's the one that people can purchase and start enrolling into. And we're gonna move the previous cohort to hidden status, which still allows people to access their grades and everything who took it before, but now the focus is on the new cohort. So I'm gonna click save and continue. and our cohort is created. So I'm gonna click, take me to my cohort. And here we are. So there's a few things we wanna adjust here. I'm gonna go ahead and update the featured image to the new one. So I'm gonna replace the spring with my fall semester featured image for the course. And I'm gonna click update. And now I can get into the course builder. I can create new content for this cohort. I can do whatever I want for this unique cohort. It's going to have its own reporting. You can use it with other Lifter LMS tools like social learning and groups to add even more options and functionality to the cohort. But let's take a look at it on the front end. So now you can see our business mastery 
fall semester 2024 cohort is ready to go. If we jump over to the course catalog, you can see we have the previous cohorts here. We could hide the past ones, but I have them all displaying here just to show how you can create a new course cohort from previous versions of a course so that you can have the cohort learning experience on your website where a group of students moves through the content at the same time during the same period. So go get course cohorts from Lifter LMS.